Shalom family. Now we've been saying for a while that the media of the entire world is trusting Hamas, a sick, twisted, evil terrorist organization, to give the correct numbers. And they're running with those numbers and bashing Israel about the casualties. So this is an interesting article. Shifting UN casualty numbers raise questions. Can reports from Gaza be trusted? According to multiple sources, adjustments were quietly made to the casualty count regarding those killed in Gaza during the ongoing conflict, as more and more of the dead have been positively identified. Those adjustments suggest that Gaza's Hamas-controlled health ministry has grossly inflated the number of women and children being killed. According to the UN's Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs on May the 6th, some 9,500 women and 14,500 children were reported killed in Gaza since October 7. Less than a week later, those numbers dropped to 5,000 women and 8,000 children. That's according to the National Post. The UN revised the death toll with 50% less women and children killed than previously reported. A big congratulations <clears throat> to media organizations like BBC and Sky News, who has been reporting the unverified figures and the Hamas propaganda, who knew that a terrorist organization would lie? What are the odds of that happening? I mean, come on. But you know what? If you honestly sit back and think about the media, their goal is not to be truthful and not to be right, but to be first. And by being first and sensationalist, they get the money. They sell the news. And that's what it's about. That's why you have to be extra careful when reporting the news. That's why you need to verify and double check things before you just run with the story. Because they are not doing that. They are just wanting to be first. So hopefully everybody learns more about how much lies are being fed to the public on a daily basis. God bless and Shalom.